Welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Anjali and today we are going to discuss different cases in workforce module for benefits, taxes and additional earnings. So I have prepared three cases over here in which I have given different component type payments for additional earnings, benefits and taxes. So let's discuss the case for one first. So in this case, uh, I have retention bonus as additional earnings in which I have given component type as rate table, payment terms as monthly fiscal year, payment frequency is not applicable here. And in value type, I have given percentage of salary and uh, the percentage 15%. Maximum value type is not applicable here. Threshold scope is YTD, that is year to date. Taxable component, I want it as uh, a taxable component. And earning type as do not add to gross pay. All right. Next is benefits. In benefits, I have fringe benefits, in which I have given component type as simple, payment terms as monthly fiscal year. And in this, payment frequency is not applicable. I have provided flat amount as 150 and maximum value type as 200 and threshold scope is YTD. This means that the amount will be less than or equal to 200. That is the maximum value type. And it is a taxable component. Earning type is not applicable here. In taxes, I have given social security tax, component type as simple, payment terms as annual fiscal year, and because it is annual, the payment frequency of what I have given is pay during the last period, value type as 1% of overall earnings, and maximum value type also as 1% of overall earnings, threshold scope as YTD. So let's go to our application. This is the home page. In this, first what we need to do is click on application, then click on configure, From here, we'll go to benefits and taxes. So in benefits, I have given fringe benefits. All these things we have discussed. So we we'll give all the features here. Click on next. Provide the value here. Save this information. Click on next. And we can see the figures here. Save this and close this tab. Similarly, for additional earnings and taxes, we can do for additional earnings and taxes also. also. Now let's go to our application homepage. Click on workforce, then go to compensation. In this, First, in salary default tabs, I need to provide the job for which I want, uh, I want the calculation for workforce expenses. So I have added developer, engineer, and financial analyst for my respective three cases. Okay. So in salary, I have given grade four for engineer also the same grade and financial analyst also the same grade. Then for additional earnings for developer, I have given retention bonus for engineer for uh, signing bonus and for financial analyst retention bonus and option as one. In benefits, I have given for designer staff provident fund for developer fringe benefits and for financial analyst fringe benefits. In taxes, I've given developer social security tax, for engineer also social uh, security tax, and for finance analyst, state unemployment tax tier two. So after we have given all the values here and all the assumptions here, we'll go to manage employees tab. From here, we are going to right click and then add the requisition. After adding the requisition, we calculate the compensation, we synchronize default, and then synchronize component definition. 
So I've done this for three jobs for developer, engineer, and financial analyst. So after I have added the requisition here, what I need to do is associate the employee with the existing one. So I've already done that. The next step is we'll go to employee details and check whether the calculation is done correctly or not. So John Patrick is the employee for developer. See, the calculation is here with respect to this job developer and with respect to employee John Patrick. I've already opened this in smart view. All the calculation has been made here for grade four employee, detention bonus, fringe benefits and social security tax. Let's validate all the figures. So for grade four, let me show you the grade. We'll go to application, configuration. We'll go to benefits and taxes. I'm sorry, we'll go to salary grades. Click on salary grades and see we have given grade one, grade two, grade three and grade four as quarterly payment 15,000, all right? So here for developer, all the calculation is done So 15,000, let's validate it. So 15,000 was for grade four, which comes to 15,000 into four quarters, which comes to 60,000, okay? So this figure gets validated. Next is signing bonus. I'm sorry, it is retention bonus. Let's change this. So retention bonus was 15% of the basic salary, which I calculated here. This is 5,000. That is the monthly payment, monthly salary, 5,000 multiplied by 15%, which comes to 750. And I provided it for two months, for January and for December. So which comes to 1,500. We can see here 1,500 retention bonus. For fringe benefits, I gave the threshold amount as YTD. So as per YTD threshold, the maximum amount is 200. So it is 200 here, which gets validated from here. In the first month of January, I had 150 in January. Then the balance amount is in February. So which, is, which comes to 200, which can be seen at the year total. Next is social security tax. So the amount is being shown in December because I entered it for December only. It is 50. So how the calculation is done? This is 1% of the basic salary. So basic salary for that particular month was 5,000. So 1% 1 of 5,000 is 50. And also I did not add the earnings to my gross pay. That's why it is only 50. Otherwise it would have been 
added to the gross pay and the calculation would have been done. All right. So we'll move to our second case. In the second case, I have done this for signing bonus. For that, I have chosen component type as rate table and all, all other elements. The only change is I have given earning type as add to gross pay. In the first case, we did not add it to our gross pay. So let's go to our application and check for the second case. So this is my second case. I have already opened this in Smart View. So for case number two, we discussed all the elements here. Now let's check the Smart View for this and validate the figures. So the basic salary is same. What I changed is the signing bonus, which was uh, in January 750 and in December 750. And I added it to the gross pay. This is the only change which I have made. The social security tax is 1% of the gross pay. So the calculation is 60,000 gets validated as we did in the first case. For signing bonus, it is 15% of the basic salary, which is 5,000 multiplied by 15%. And social security tax is 1% of the gross pay. This is the gross pay and 1% has been calculated on this amount. So which comes to 65 here. So the second case also gets validated. Now let's move towards our third case. So in third case, I gave the tax as state unemployment tax component type as rate table, payment terms as monthly fiscal year, value type as 5% of the salary because I have chosen tier two for that, which is 5% of the basic salary and all the information. So let's go to our application. This is the third requisition, which I added. We'll go to employee details. From here, we'll select the job and the employee name and all the information will come here. Okay, so I have opened it in Smart View. So this is my third case in which I have kept the basic salary same, retention bonus same, fringe benefits is also as similar to case one and state unemployment tax, it is 5% of the basic salary. So 5,000 multiplied by 5%, which comes to 250. So our third case also gets validated so this is how we can create different cases for workforce expenses calculation. So that's all for today. Thank you.